after creating the volume, what next? To make this persistent volume available to mount to a pod, you need to create a persistent volume claim. Every persistent volume claim is bounded into a single persistent volume. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. Kubernetes will try to find out the persistent volume with the sufficient capacity, access modes and volume modes, storage classes as you requested in the claim definition as you see it in the example. If you look at here, I am creating the kind persistent volume claim. I will be providing my name into my claim and under the spec section, you will be defining the configurations to match with your persistent volume definitions. So if you have a storage class, you can define that. Access modes, you will be defining to match with the persistent volume access modes and you can define the storage. In this example, PV persistent volume has 10 gig storage, but PVC persistent volume claim is consuming less storage. In this kind of a situation, other claims will not be able to use the remaining capacity of your volume. Additionally, you can use labels and selectors as well to bind the volume with the persistent volume claim. If you look at this example, you can provide persistent volume labels in the persistent volume claim selector field to bind the correct persistent volume into the persistent volume claim. Now you are ready to use this persistent volume claim in your pod definition. So according to the example, you can create a volume section. Under that volume section, you can provide an arbitrary name and your volume type would be persistent volume claim. And then you can provide what is my claim name under the claim name definition. Afterwards, you have the volume defined. You can mount it into anywhere in your container using volume mounts configuration.